Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, this is a, another one of those unplanned uh, videos. I had actually planned, I came back, <laughs> so I talked about, um, I'm probably going to be leaving Manhattan sometimes this year, and I like it, but the reasons I'm leaving are for days like tonight. I just needed to buy underwear, and I ended up having to travel like three different trains to go to like five different stores just to get freaking regular underwear, like just Hanes freaking briefs oh my gosh i had to go to so many places i could buy like 25 dollars for two boxes <laughs> whatever you guys don't want to hear about this <laughs> but anyway um i was checking my twitter while waiting for trains and and people started showing this and i got i got kind of sad at first and then i got angry i got sad because someone and uh well there's a lot of things i mean i'll go to like um uh, I'll probably do another video on that. They just, uh, Bleeding Cool had an article about uh, one uh, comic store made $21,000 less in sales this year than last year because of Marvel. And all these stores are closing down. And it's because the industry started to take a hard left turn uh, to, to throw away their audience for three years. They went exclusively after SJW's apps. SJW's did not follow through. They did not buy books. They did not support books. They took pictures with them and they tweeted about them, but they didn't buy them. So uh, we start off right here. So it actually started with uh, this other person, Tamara Bonvillane, who's a uh, trans comic book creator and she's a really good color. So I've actually said she's great millions of times. Of course, I'm blocked. All y'all are blocked. <laughs> uh, and then uh, uh, so uh, this is I, I, you know, Twitter's kind of hard. You know, the conversations, they branch. So let me make sure I'm recording on OBS. <laughs> this is going to be a big one, but it's going to be a long one. Um, that's what. Okay, so I am recording. Okay. Uh, so I knew this was going to happen, and it didn't happen for a while, but it finally happened. Uh, we had um, uh, a uh, small publisher uh, basically retweet a customer's. Let me repeat that word. Customer. Comics is a business. It's not a club for alt lifesteal freakazoids. They are fighting tooth and nail to make it that way. But uh, so uh, so Rosie Knight, who I'm gonna hover over her, <laughs> you're gonna laugh. Rosie Knight, writer, lapsed poet, makes comics, showgirls fan page, punches Nazis. Total Nazis punched zero. Okay, so this is what she says. Nice to see Alterna Comics happily retweeting. People shouting out that they found them through racist trolls. Uh, guess who the racist trolls are? Yep. You guys watching this. 51,000 subs. I don't know, like 10,000 Twitter followers. Uh, you know, well, yeah, let's say all the Twitter followers are also the subs. So it's a, a community of 51,000 people just got told by some indie comics creator that no one's ever heard of that they are all racist. Uh, maybe she didn't... <laughs> This is hilarious. Look at the guy's name. The guy's name is Jose Villalobos, and his name is Agree or You're Racist. So she literally fell right into it. So he goes, so I've been telling people, um, you know, because uh, I got blocked by most of the people at Twitter. Um, DC is pretty good. I'm not blocked by many people there. Um, and I said, if you buy a book because I recommended it, if you buy a book because of a video I did, at the, at the company and at the creators, so and let them know. So this uh, guy, Jose, Jose Filobos, uh, he added Peter Samedi, who I believe is the editor-in-chief of Alterna. Uh, and he said, I heard about Alterna from Diversity in Comics. I picked up a few titles. A few titles? Look at that pay Look at that picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 comics! 18 comics. Do you know how proud I am? The idea that I was able to get someone to buy 18 comics. And I have no stake in Alterna. I freaking, uh, I, I freaking uh, told them one time I'd like to publish with them. And they were just basically, they, they basically said, uh, patted me on the head. They go, maybe one day. <laughs> I understand I'm controversial. I understand if a publisher would want to uh, be trepidatious about uh, aligning themselves with me. But I'm getting less controversial as time goes by. In fact, that's one of the main things is that uh, people are saying, oh, I heard you were this racist troll. And then I went there and everyone's cool. And it's this giant community and everyone just hangs out and they're fun. And it's 
like the most diverse you know what i consistently hear about like s x that is hard to say x e x dash sjw's former sjw's as they say i used to hang out in this group and everyone talked about diversity but everyone was the same i mean they had different skin colors uh some were straight some were bi some were trans but they all literally had the same thoughts it was like being in a cult so uh you come here we don't really talk about top politics like we don't talk about politicians or stuff like that. We talk about comics, we talk about prose, we talk kind of vaguely about culture. But look at this, 18 comics. So this guy says, I heard about alternative from diversity in comics. I picked up a few titles, I plan to get more. Uh, so Alterna uh, retweets it, to which this uh, rosy person uh, tries to cyber bully and shame them, uh, calling uh, racist trolls. Um, so let me scroll down here. So uh, then uh, this Medulla guy says, or guy or girl says, I really like Alterna and I learned about this and it's so disheartening. Diversity for higher ed and representation, proper and respectful treatment of characters, creators and topics is very important to me. I feel so let down. I don't know what to do. Sad, s sad emoji. Um, so, uh, you know what you need to do? You need to sub to my channel because that's literally the things that we talk about we like. We like Anna Senti. We like Christopher Priest. We like Chip Zdarsky, who is a handicapped Canadian born without the enzymes necessary to process humor. We like all these people. We like actual diversity, but it has to be diversity. It's just as coincidence to hiring on merit and to retain uh, employment based on sales. That's what it's got to be. It's not, oh, uh, let's get Gabby Rivera, who's done one YA novel no one's heard of, to write America. Don't, don't even get the creators of America, because guess what? America was not created by a Latina lesbian. Oh, no. Um, so then we go down, and uh, Alexis Sergio says, feel free to call them out. See what move they make. Uh, all these people have me blocked. <laughs> I have to be in this like little side uh, when it's like, Okay, so uh, like I said, it's a little hard to follow the conversations. They branch a lot. So um, uh, then uh, two hours ago, wow, this is very current. Peter Samedi says, uh, apparently no one wanted to have a normal conversation considering I wasn't tagged and neither was Alterna. Found the conversation just doing a search for Alterna Comics. Yeah, boy, I do that. You know, you know who else who says he Googles himself every single day? Stephen Amell, Green Air, Oliver Queen. He said... I, he, somebody asked if he Googles himself in an interview. He goes, I Google myself every day. Any actor who says they don't Google so, themselves every day is lying. Now, I think he's being tongue in cheek about every day. I probably uh, Google, or, you know, I Google the site once a week. I'll probably, I check all, I log into this other account and check the mentions probably like, or, you know, every couple of days. Um, found this conversation just doing a search for alternate comics. In order to engage fans and reach reach supporters that might not have tagged. Sad to see this occur. And then Tamra Ball and Vlaine, in all caps, you follow his account. Again, this is cyber bullying right there. That is a picture of a cyber bully. This is someone trying to name and shame, make someone uncomfortable, make someone have to hide their beliefs. Um, uh, completely normal and nice beliefs. Uh, Peter Samedi is like salt of the earth, nice guy, always great with the fans. Always interacting with them. So I'm going to, hopefully, if I do show more replies, it'll show the whole um, conversation. Now, this is one of those ones that branches. So I'm going to uh, have to uh, go back. So I guess I'm going to have to keep, um, okay, so this is some other, sorry. This is going to be a little, meh. So, uh, Who is his? Okay, so Peter Smitty says, who is his? I follow over 46,000 accounts. Diversity in comics. Why is that not in capital letters? Um, uh, so Larry King, uh, a friend of mine says, so following his account means he endorses everything he says or stands for. Uh, she says, quote, retweeting removes context from why I pointed out because of DC. My understanding of what I read was that DC recommended some books. People were saying, hey, that guy's a troll harasser. And Peter was saying he didn't know. I pointed out that he followed him. That's it. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. Don't pull this cowardly shit. You were trying to to bully him, to influence him, to put an onus upon him. Um, so then uh, Giovanni Burunda says, 
He retweeted a tweet from a fan who enjoys his, the work his company does. I didn't read anything negative about his retweet. Uh, who people follow has nothing to do with it. Uh, so let's see if there's anything else. So, um, okay, so uh, my understanding of what I read was that uh, DC recommended some books. People are, okay, yeah, so sorry. It's going to go in circles a, a little bit. Okay, so uh, uh, you should check out uh, DC DNC's videos and judge for yourself. I watched one and it was trash full of misinformation. Don't intend to watch more. One? Seriously, one. I've made like 600 videos. You're going to judge the entire channel, me and 51,000 subscribers over one video, which is probably tongue in cheek referring to other in jokes from other videos. So, oh, that's great. So MP Graphics says, what video was it? Sure you didn't misunderstand him? She says, uh, it was one of the many videos in which he shits on Max. He cited a bunch of information on trans people that was hateful and inaccurate. Now, there are facts. <laughs> and the, the, uh, it was probably me talking about the suicide rate, and that's completely true. I'm pretty sure I know that information better than a person trying to weaponize to hurt someone. Yes. It feels like it was answering several different questions. Um, so, uh... So yeah, so Peter Samedi says, uh, uh, I usually follow back people who have had friendly interactions with me. Apologies if that upsets you. I mean no ill will by it. So one thing to point out right here is that these are two industry professionals talking, except for only one of them is being professional. Peter Samedi is a publisher. Tamara is a uh, random contractor. She should be, um, if she had any sense, um, apologizing and saying it was a misunderstanding. Um, but we're in this weird, we're in the upside down, you know, uh, where uh, contractors insult and attack publishers and then uh, complain about uh, not having enough work. Um, so uh, Man Bear Pig says, uh, probably looking to run a business and not block alienate people who actually pay for comics, but who knows, just a hunch. So Tamara Bon Valane says, blocking and alienating racists and bigots I can live with. Enjoy making money off the people that regularly make the lives of people miserable because of who they are. That's literally what you just did to Peter Samedi. You are trying to get him persona non grata. You're pulling this mean girls routine straight out of middle school. Uh, it's like, um, so then the people are just saying like, uh, uh, Tamara looking at the tweets leading up to and involving this discussion, Bad Wolf says, it seems like no dialogue or discussion was ever intended, but instead chaos and confrontation. Call him out was literally used, and that's an aggressive attacking term. Um, uh, yeah, this is all cyberbullying. Um, uh, then she says, uh, then let's let this thread die and move on with your lives. You guys do your thing. The reason I need to call this out is because... This is a plan of people like Tamara Bond Villain. It's a constant bullying campaign. Um, very few people wanted to go through three years of SJWness. Uh, the publishers didn't want to do it. And uh, the comic shop retailers, the owners, really didn't want to do it. We were bullied by people like this. We were bullied saying, oh, you don't like America? It's not because of the bad writing and bad art. It's because you're a transphobe. Oh, you don't like the Falcon? You don't like Captain America being the Falcon? You are a bigot. You are a racist. We're, we are tired of this. We are a very, very accepting subculture or culture, whatever you want to call it. There are multiple trans people in the whatever you want to call it, the community revolving around the, the channel. Um, but you actually have to be that friendly person who is not just out to cyber bully because of their beliefs. Um, so Daniel says, you have a thread up right now encouraging people not to buy from his company and telling people he supports harassment. Um, so, yeah, so the response is, nah. -uh. Okay, again, this is school behavior. This is grade school behavior. Um, so, uh, so then uh, Peter uh, Samedi says, how do you propose? propose I police an entire world of comic creators. I love animals. Should I make sure only vegans read my comics? I am Chinese and Italian, bullied since I was a child. Please don't assume you know me. I know what misery looks like from the hands of a bully. 
you do because you're getting bullied right now. Now, you know, bullying when you use it for adults is not the same as it is for kids, but still. Um, so then uh, Tamara Bond Lane says, stop quote retweeting me and removing contacts from the discussion. This was not even a reply to you. The thing is, this whole started with you butting into something that he was saying to someone else. And it's uh, uh, and then uh, also just total disingenuous bullshit. Besides, again, I work in tech. If there was a, uh, a leader of, a, I don't know, let's name a company, FireEye, there is no way in hell I would get in an argument with him on Twitter. It would make me look like trash to the entire industry and to that guy. Um, by the way, FireEye is a great company. <laughs> I love their products. Um, so uh, then it looks like she started another uh, thing of, I hate this false narrative that if you don't embrace a specific group of fans, puts fans in, double quotes and single quotes that, are, uh, that have huddled together under the banner of, of harassment and degrading certain types of creators that you are alienating your audience. That's not a false narrative. Okay, so let's play this game where you can be a business, but you can also be morality police. It's kind of like, you know, you can be a dentist and you can be in the National Guard. You don't even have to be a dentist in the National Guard. You could be a freaking infantry squad leader. Even if we lived in this alternate universe where you're allowed to uh, try to appeal to customers and sell to them while also alienating potential customers, the SJWs have proven that their Nazi and bigot and racist detecting, you know, uh, gaydar or radar in their head uh, is extremely faulty. Um, so uh, just flat out, I do not trust you to identify a bigot. I think what you are going to die, identify as a bigot is anyone who does not vote the same as you. We are tired of this. We want heroes fighting villains. We want exciting stories. We want some, you know, kind of Scott, Scott Pilgrim type of stuff. Uh, we don't want this stuff. We don't want this cyber bullying mean girls behavior. So let's see. So I want as many people to enjoy comics I work on as I can. But if common human, human decency, like the respecting the humanity of trans people specifically, LGBT people in general, POC, etc., is enough to alienate you, then see you. Well, no, we're going to see you because we actually control the industry. We get to decide that you make $40,000 a year. We also could decide that you make $120,000. But you're not doing the things to let us decide that, which is means making books that we like. You also don't have to delight in the fact that an effing troll ringleader has rallied his fans behind your book to make you some profits. Absolutely you do. This is a business. I know you have a very low lifestyle of needing to make barely any money. Studio, apartment, a cat, and what? The cheapest internet cable package there is. Most people go into their lives and want to advance, get houses, have families, all this type of stuff. That's what businesses do. You are not in a club in your middle school called the Woke Comics Club. And to be perfectly frank, there's someone in Indonesia who will do your job for like $15 a page. So chill out. Um, so let's see what the other replies are. I'm getting kind of worked up. I feel like I'm being loud. Um, uh, so R. Stoddard says, I hate this false nar narrative that uh, if you don't embrace a specific group of fans that have huddled together under the banner of diversity and degrading certain types of creators that you are alienating. Around. Okay, perfect. Scene. So then the uh, creator, the supposed business person, decides to mock the customer who said something completely reasonable. Like I've said about... Uh, 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 SJW Comics, they always put the reasonable thoughts and ideas and actions in the hands of the villain. <laughs> so, um, uh, so the, oh yeah, that's Drew uh, Kelly Kai. Stop. Criticism is not harassment. Did you learn this nonsense at comic school? I know. It's upsetting to see your SJW friends lose their books, but they'll get better, especially if they admit they made mistakes. I'm bringing it back clapping. This is a clap trigger warning. You are Getting some claps to Calakai. Um, so then Tamara says, criticism is not harassment, but har harassment is, and that's what I'm talking about. No, 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 you're definitely not. Um, so uh, going down some more. 
uh, sorry, just complaining about quote retweeting. This is kind of funny. Like, you can't take my thoughts out of context or no, but we're seeing the whole thread. Uh, more bullying that he follows to someone. Um, uh, complaining about quote retweeting. Uh, backpedaling. Um, also, saying you have X friend or even you are X doesn't shield you from criticism from being bigoted or supporting or tacitly accepting support from someone bigoted against X. You are a hot dog vendor, Tamara Bon Villain. You are not the morality police. You are not the high sparrow. And if that job did exist, you would not be qualified for it. You are a mean girl style bully, cyberbullying in adult life. Um... So, uh, okay, so um, Slow17 Motion says, Don't use people like me as your shield. Don't cape for me. I'm gay, and I'm a follower of Diversity in Comics. He has a ton of gay followers. Yeah, boy, I'm handsome. Come on. Um, and giving negative reviews isn't harassment. Calling out people who aren't qualified to write for a book isn't harassment. It's honesty. Tamara says, I'm trans, and he shares constant bigotry against trans people. Not true. Uh, I know he has... Oh, wait. <sighs> Wrong. I missed the, I had the opportunity to say it wrong and I didn't say it. I know he has gay followers. Gay followers like you that don't care that he hates on trans people. Okay. I wish I could show my finger on this. Oh, wait. I can show the uh, consumer, customer, person trying to sell books. This is it. Uh, this is a reaction. Uh, oh, I heard what you're saying. I'm going to try to work on it. Hopefully you'll buy my books. Not imply that he's a anti-trans gay bigot against trans. What the hell? Um, so, okay, so this is where she's making fun of customers, mocking customers. Oh, let's see what the eight new tweets are. Um, being woke about Puerto Rico. So um, I always feel like Edwin Boya is like trying to show off his awesome hairline when he's doing these quotes, these close-ups. I just feel like it's very kind of passive aggressive. Um, <laughs> so uh, so uh, complaining about quote retweeting. Um, Daniel says, you're a major a-hole just saying he retweeted a fan without checking who that fan also follows. Consec doesn't help you. You're pretty obviously harassing him. Peter Samedi at this point for something a fourth party did. Tamara, uh, it's still, he follows the person that he says he wasn't sure the fan followed. He knows. He also follows a bunch of random fans about that account as well. And then Daniel with the freaking rock bottom right here. He follows you too, and you're clearly a bully and harasser. Oh, got him. I mean, got her. Got her. Her, her. Sensitive. Her, her. Uh, was my place um so uh peter Sumetti says he's not following her anymore since tamra unfollowed and my followers obviously not wanted tamra i don't know you well enough to dislike you after one conversation so i hope 2018 is a fantastic year for you best what a great guy i love this peter Sumetti guy although he did he say he was like part chinese and part italian i need like a if he's got the italian last name i need a i need a chinese first name Seems, I don't know. Chow Young Samedi. That's what I'd like to see. Um, uh, so CM David Wilk says, someone trying to be the thought police. For someone who talks about harassment and how bad, how it is bad, you really do fit the bill for harassment. All he did was retweet a fan. This is comics, not some sort of purity test. Oh my God, I love this guy. Oh, I don't love him that much. <laughs> Whoa, what the, what the hell happened? So, um, uh, okay, so we're going back to the, uh, and again, I want to uh, stress that this is a comic book professional, full-time comic book professional. Now, uh, I'm a comic book professional because I make money off of uh, commenting on the comic industry, but it's just part-time. This is Tamara's entire livelihood, and she's wasting it, attacking fans and mocking them. So, uh... 
So what is this? Is it going to be more complaining about subtweeting? Um, I'm not, I don't know. I don't even care about complaining about it. Okay, so, uh, so Drew Calakai says, Oh, so you think you're doing him a favor? Me? Uh, you don't want to mention DNC by name because he would address you directly. Supporters will also criticize you directly, and that's how life in a free society with social media is supposed to work. Bah! <laughs> if, if any of the subs for my channel started, like, putting their own channels, I'd be freaking destroyed. They're all so much more erudite than I am. Tamara says, This wasn't directed at DNC, but he has also pulled that line. Also, Wild that I don't want a bunch of you tweeting me the same bullshit over and over. But did you die? I, I don't, why do they always act like these like tweets are like bullets? Okay, so um, then she does a, a, a not a quote t tweet, but like does a uh, snipping tool. Um, Elo, she says to a customer, "Gah, lol. No wonder they think nothing is harassment." They think the whole point of Twitter is to annoy the shit out of people that you disagree with on social media. No, that's that's not what he said. He was actually being very sincere with you. Um, so uh, I'm going to finish this one. Let's see what Swagger Bomb says. Um, Matches Malone says, uh, you got to be willing to defend your point. Blocking him won't make you right. Tamara says, so if I just tweet nonsense at you all day, and at some point you don't refute a point I made, I win, and you're wrong. Yeah, it's, it's, she just did a reductio ad absurdum. But anyway, um, as you can see, this is right up to date. Uh, two minutes was the last one, but um, this stuff really, really, really needs to stop. Um, uh, this is this type of attitude has almost destroyed an industry. Dozens of stores. People invest their life savings to run these stores. They go for decades, and they got destroyed by people like this. People who have decided that as, that comic book industry is a club and not a business. You should never, ever, ever talk to customers or potential customers like this. Ever. And uh, really, this Tamara owes an apology to Peter Sinetti, who's a great guy, salt of the earth, interacts with people all the time. There it is. Be nice. <laughs> this is kind of an in joke that we, uh, in my family with my daughter. She said this to a goat one time. Be nice. Be nice. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone. Give them to the super chat and the Patreon. I, I gotta. I can't. I can't. I gotta get rid of this. Uh, you're funding original content, and I'll have. Uh, let's see if there's anything new. And I'll have. Uh, I'm just so curious. Okay. And I'll have, uh, um, oh, and I'm going to be doing the uh, Doomsday Clock number two. Uh, it's going to come right up, probably about an hour. Thanks for watching. Bye.